slit right down the middle. It's cleaved in two. It's 50-50. It's literally 50-50 and I'm uh, at odds with myself. I feel like there's half of me that wants to see how caring people have been and how uh, resilient people have been and how powerful it's been to uh, be in this together and we've clung to hopefulness and there's literally 50% of me that fights to feel this way. And then there's that other side of me. I know how difficult uh, school will be for our kids. Uh, I know that we've been stuck in this place with grief and I don't know how long it's going to be, but I don't think that there's uh, necessarily an end soon. And so I'm cleaved in two, I'm split down the middle, I'm half and half. And it's just a weird place to sit, trying to be hopeful, but sitting right on this razor's edge of uh, so much other stuff in my mind. I think that's why we try to gather together for a psalm and a prayer. And I think part of it is to acknowledge how we feel. We know what our kids are up against. We know what all of our folks in our community who work to help schools run are up against and we know how easy it is to sort of feel overwhelmed and we know that we all want to stay hopeful and, and, and know that we're a community and that we're in here and in this together but we ride this just razor sharp place right in the middle and so we gather because I think we're trying to teeter over into that side of hopefulness on the gray day because it would be easy to teeter over onto the other side and we need just something that might tip the scale a little bit. So I appreciate that you're joining me and I know what we're all facing and where we all sit. I think we are in this together and my hope is, is that the scales tip a little bit here. This is not this upcoming Sunday's psalm. I have deviated from the lectionary to read this morning from the 103rd Psalm. And I've deviated because I've tried so hard to tilt over into that positive side. And every day I pass uh, an eagle's nest. Uh, it's high up on a pole and there's a platform on the top of it and there's an eagle's nest in there and there's two eagles. And I try to, when I see that, uh, remind myself of, of the way eagles are spoken of in scripture and so I've deviated from the prescribed psalm for this Sunday and instead I'm reading from the 103rd psalm. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Let us pray. Gracious God, we pray this morning for all those who feel like they are stuck, just teetering in between a pit and hopefulness. We ask that you would be with kids, students everywhere. We ask that you would be with moms and dads who teach, with teachers in school, administrators and staffs who have all had to put their nose to the grindstone and think so hard about how to help our students learn and still try to live in this hopeful half. Today is a bit of a lament on the gray day. It's in a bit of a, an admission of how I feel and how I feel like I'm just riding the edge here and how worn out it feels to cling there perilously. I ask that you would help our children and our kids 
and all those who care for them in our community to have their strength renewed and to mount up on wings as eagles. I ask that you would keep all of us, help us to rise as eagles above this edge that we sit on, and help us move into a side of confidence in your hope and care, where even on a gray day, the breath of your spirit fills under our wings and pushes us upward and guides us with strength. You've brought us through the night, and I ask that you would give us moments of respite and that you would bring us through the day. I ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. May you teeter today somehow knowing that God is with you into a place of hopefulness and care of others. The clouds aren't going to be here for forever, and may your soul and your spirit rise knowing that you are never anywhere but in God's care. See you soon.